hello good morning today in this video we are going to discuss about how to add a custom field that is a new field to an existing view suppose if I take the sales menu let's add a new field to this form here we have the sale order form view let's see how we can add a new field here in this form from the front end without any code or customization from the code, code side for that what you have to do is that suppose if you don't know the model name of these uh, to find first of all we need to get the model name of this model for that what you have to do is that just go to settings settings menu from here you can activate the developer mode by clicking the activate the developer mode option so now I have enabled the developer mode now I will go back to the sales form itself this is for the beginners who don't know how to get the model name so suppose for adding first of all for adding a custom field we have to get this model name for this click this debugger button here which will be only visible in the developer mode and if you click the edit form view or from the metadata also you will get the model name from I will just here I will click the edit view form then a wizard will come yes in this is wizard you can see the model that is sale dot order I will copy it using control C and now I have to add a field to that model first so for adding the field to that model we have to go to settings under the technical you can see a menu called database structures yes database structure is here here in the models menu make a search of sale dot order I will paste it here so here is the model sale dot order so here we have to add the field first here in this form you can see a page called fields if you go at the bottom of the page you can see add a line so I will click on it and a new wizard for creating the field will get opened here you can see field name will get started by x underscore that is the fields added from the front end so let me add the field as x custom here the field label is the thing that we get displayed in the front end what we see custom field I'll give a label as custom field from here we can choose the field type whether it is binary boolean char date etc i will simply choose a boolean field yes field help tick or untick like this just i will show the use case of this field help which will get displayed when on mouse hover so you can add the properties like required read only from here if there is any custom access right like if this field has to be visible only for certain groups you can add this group here so now i have added the field name that is x custom i will copy this using ctrl c because we have to add the same in the view also so i will click on save and close save this okay so we have successfully added a new field if we go to this as the fields are ordered in the alphabetic order x will be in the last so if i move here you can see the x custom here so now i will go to the sales form view okay sale order open the form view then let's add somewhere here the new field click on the debugger button again click on edit form view form button then this architecture section you can see here is the code of that view here you can see partner ID that is this customer so let me add after the payment terms option for adding the field you have to type this field name equal to field name equal to you have to specify x custom which I already I have already copied I have pasted it and closed that text so saved it save it okay save success so to see the changes I have to reload the screen so I have refreshed the screen it's loading so once it's get loaded you 
can see a new field get added here suppose if I am going to create a new quotation you can see this tick or a tick you can see that which is we have specified in the field help so this is how we can add a custom field to an existing model or existing view from the front end so this is all about how to adding a field from the front end the same thing can be added from the code also thank you if you have any queries regarding this you can comment it out we will reply as soon as possible also please subscribe our youtube channel for more updates regarding Odoo 13 and coming features thank you